So for this demo, we are going to learn how to print our um, radial symmetry design onto styrofoam to make this um, quilt square. This is where you're going to draw what's going to be on your printing plate, so whatever your design is. First, I'm going to get a piece of grid paper, large or small, and a styrofoam plate. And anywhere on here, I'm going to trace my foam plate. You guys are going to be using pencil. I'm just using Sharpie markers so you can see in the video what my lines are. Okay. And as you can see, this doesn't match up exactly, but it's close enough. Okay. Now you're going to fill your square with whatever you want your designs to be. I'm going to make this the inside corner of my radial design and I'm just going to start filling it in with different shapes and line designs. I'm trying to make sure that everything is symmetrical. So what I put on the left, I'm also going to put on the right. You can also use this grid paper to help make sure that your lines are lined up at the same square. So for example, if I wanted to put a line from here to here, I could count out one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then I would know that my lines needed to touch here and here. That's going to help make your design even more symmetrical by using the numbers. Let's see, I'll make one for three. And I'll make one for two. So after a couple tries, this is my final design that I want to print onto my intermediate color color wheel. So I'm going to cut it out and show you how to transfer it to your styrofoam plate. To do the transfer, you can use several things. You can use a pen, um, a scratch tool, or you can even use a pencil. It's really up to you what your preference is, but I'm going to put my styrofoam plate down and my design on top of it. And I'm going to start using that tool to transfer my design by pushing down onto my styrofoam plate. This step is really important to take your time. Go over each detail several times and make sure that you can see it on your styrofoam. Okay, I'm going to peel it back and show you what it looks like on your plate might be hard to see but your designs are going to be scratched in so I'm going to go back over them to make them even deeper without tearing my plate you want them to be as deep as you possibly can that's going to get you a better print in the end See how each time I go back over the section just once or twice, sometimes three times. And then when I lay it back down, I want to make sure it's in the same exact spot and just keep transferring everything onto your plate. All right, now we're on to actually how to print this onto this to get this. How do we do it? Okay. You are going, every table is going to have a printing tray. Every table is going to have brayers. I'm going to come around and give you our printing ink, which is by Speedball. It's the best. And then once you have rolled your ink out, much like a painter puts paint into a paint tray to paint a wall, you are then going to take that brayer and ink your plate. It's really important you do a good job of making sure you got all four corners really good, okay? 
set it down into the tray. Okay, now here's where the fun part gets. On the back of your styrofoam plate, styrofoam plate, it's really important that you have which place or the center place of your printing thing has a little arrow. The little arrow is going to indicate where you always need to put. It needs to be pointing to the center. Okay, so just one more time since I just flip that over, set it down. Okay, here's my paper, and let's just pretend I'm. Oh, wait a minute. That is always supposed to be pointing to the center because that's the way my design goes. So I line it up in the corner. Press down with my finger. Now I'm gonna take a brayer that has no ink on it and gently roll and hold with my finger to transfer the design onto the paper. I'm gonna peel it back. And there's the first design. Okay, set it down. Re-ink your brayer, re-ink your printing plate, set it back down on the thing, flip it over. Where's that arrow? Oh, there it is. I got to turn it. Make sure it's pointing to the center. Very important. Line it up, lay it down, take the one that has no ink on it. Peel it back. There's my second print. And of course you're going to need to do this a couple more times. Four times to be exact, four times. Take it, find the arrow, place it in the center, line it up, press it down, roll the one that has no ink on it on the back. Voila, almost there. One more left. Roll, 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 roll. Set it down. Line up my arrow, place it in the center. Put it there and press and hold. Yes, you're going to get ink on your hands. Not a big deal, just don't rub it on your clothes. We will wash them at the end. Always feel free to wear a paint shirt if you're that worried about it. And pull it back, and voila! I have my first radial symmetry square.